Chris St. Alban here, and today I'm going to show you guys a really cool tip, and it's how to get sidechain function inside of Cubase Elements and Below. Uh, for those who have Cubase Elements and Below, you know you can't sidechain. It's just not there. You got to get a higher tier version of Cubase. But we can kind of fake the funk and get around that. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use the auto pan uh, plugin that comes in Cubase and get those rhythmic side chains, um, sounds that you hear in uh, EDM and such. So for those who don't know what side chaining is, it's basically when you take uh, the input of one sound and affect the output of another sound. And so um, typically what you'll have is some sort of synth chord or pad or something like that and a kick. And basically every time this kick hits, the pad or the synth would duck out of the way and it creates this rhythmic sound. Um, you'll know it when you hear it. So um, what I'm going to do is show you how to get that sound even when you don't have sidechain. And you don't need any special plugins. You don't need any special add-on features, nothing like that. You don't have to go out, break a uh, wallet. Nothing, like, nothing at all is required other than your stock Cubase because it's powerful enough to do exactly that. So... Uh, the first thing I want to show you guys um, is the loop that I have set up to already do this. And I have a kick loop and I have a synthesized uh, loop. And the loop comes with Cubase. I'm not sure what comes with the element versions of Cubase. So I cannot say that you have this particular loop or this particular kick drum loop. Um, what I can tell you is that the pro version has it because that's what I'm using, Cubase 10 Pro. So... If you go to analog techno, we have kick drum loop 12. It's actually already highlighted, which is nice. And then if we go to, I believe I got the synth loop from the cinema synth loop number 24, I believe it is number 24. So um, these two things are what I'm gonna use to show you guys this trick. So if you have it, you can actually try it at home with the exact same loops. All right, so let me show you guys a breakdown of the plugin really quickly. So within the top window here, you can actually draw the shape that it is panning with the top being the left side and the bottom being the right side and this middle line being the center. So you can tell it to pan across each side however you wish. And it will go further left and then through the center to the right and to the left ear and to the right ear and so forth and so forth. These here at the bottom are uh, default shapes that you can pick. So they have sine, top to bottom, triangle, bottom to top, square or pulse, and then random and random. So, and you can actually just keep hitting it and it would just keep randomizing. So, um, and this is random continuous. It'll just continuously randomize if that's your thing. <laughs> so um, let's put it back to pulse or square. And so uh, you have going from the left to the right phase. Um, in this particular trick, the only phase you'll need to know is zero and 180. And it basically tells it when it's going to begin shifting uh, left and right. So at zero, it starts from the farthest left and works the way right, which, which you can see. And so for this particular shape that we have, it would start and it go to the right ear and then go to the left ear. But if we were to put it to the middle, which is the 180, I'll type it in, 180, it's, it would start here. So it would start at the right, uh, going to the left and then it come back around and go to the right. So as opposed to starting at the right side, it would start at the left side. And you can put it anywhere between that if you want to do anything crazy. But for this trick, usually 0 and 180 is going to be what you need. So the next thing we're going to have here is the actual rate. You can have it just free, freely flow, which is what it's doing right now. Or you can sync it to the tempo of your project. All right. And then... Um, the factor actually works in conjunction with that. So um, what it does is it takes whatever you have and it multiplies it. And 
Uh, so I will sync it as an example. And right now it's going uh, one, one, which is one bar. And if we go to two, it is now taking the distance of two bars. So one, one times two, two bars, three, four bars, and it goes up to eight or 10. I'll say it goes up to 10 and it does it to whatever speed you have it. It just multiplies it by 10 or up to 10. So there's that. The link switch links the left and the right, and that's going to be one we use. And uh, um, it'll be part of the, the actual effect I'm showing you guys. With controls, um, how far left or right it's going to go. And then smooth smooths out the shape itself to make it less jagged, depending on what the shape is. So for this, for this trick, what we're going to really need is phase, factor, sync, rate, link, and width. We won't really need smooth too much. So that's the quick breakdown of the plugin itself. Now let's go to the actual tip. All right, so let's start playing the loops. So now that we've got the loops playing, in order to make this happen, we're gonna hit the link button. And what the link is gonna do is it's gonna link the left side and the right side together. So right now, this thing is going from the right side to the left. And what it does is it turns up the right side while turning down the left side, and then turns up the left side while turning down the right side. But when they link it, they're gonna turn up the right and the left simultaneously. And so right now what you're gonna hear, which I'll show the meters, right now, and there it is highlighted, you're gonna, you're seeing it go left to right. But when we link it, left and right, Turn up and down at the same time. And so let's speed it up. And then the width controls how much it would go into the left and the right. But in this mode, it's gonna control how much dynamics is going to control or how much dynamics is gonna take control of. So easy way to get it, right? And then we can just dial in how much of the effect we want using the width. And then the other thing was the phase. So with the phase, what we can do is we can say, okay, I don't want it to start at the right side, or in this particular case, I don't want to start at the bottom side. I want to start at the upside, if you would. So we could bring this over, just type it in to 180. Maybe that's the pattern we want to make. And there it is, that easy. So mess around with it, have fun with it, do as you will. So hope you enjoy that right there. Now I'm going to show you guys how to take that with the Cubase Artist and Pro that has the sidechain function. Now we're back. So for those who have Cubase Artist and Pro, you can take what I just showed you even further. So this plugin actually has a sidechain feature. And so if we go to the top here, we can add our sidechain input, which I've already added the techno drum, and then activate the sidechain. And now instead of moving rhythmically, it's moving based off of the actual kick that's coming in. So you can take this and do the same thing we talked about before, link both sides. And now it's really ducking the kick. It's not a rhythmic pattern of consistent kick. Doesn't matter which way our kick is, it's gonna duck it. And so we can use this to make, you know, very interesting ducking shapes, for example. Maybe we wanna do something like that. really easy trick so hope you guys enjoyed it hope you take it run with it make awesome music as always this is chris st Alvin. peace